Welcome back guys. I'm here to share my latest Timu haul. Um, it's not huge, but I did get a few dies, so I just wanted to pop on here and share with you what I picked out in case you were interested in getting the same dies or if you were thinking about getting them. So the first die that I picked up is this adorable banner die. And I, it was a while back. I forget who showed it first. Um, I should have brought my scissors. Hold on one second. Okay, so I couldn't find my scissors. I don't know what I did with them. Anyways, let's just get this thing opened. I went and grabbed a knife from the kitchen drawer to open this. It just needs something to pierce it. Um, usually there's a sticker on it, but I can never see where it starts because I'm and my eyes are not that good anymore. But um, this is the banner die. I should probably put it underneath something. Just give me another second. So the first die that I picked up is this adorable banner die. I saw someone do a project with it. I can't remember who it was, but it was really, really cute. And I said I'd, I need that little die. It has like all the, the banner pieces and it has all these tiny bows, which you can use with other things as well. And it comes with um, hearts on the side. Now, I picked this up around, like, right after St. Patrick's Day. Like, a week after. And they actually call this the St. Patrick's Day banner. Do you guys see anything that resembles St. Patrick's Day on here? I don't. But, oh, you know what? Who I think it... Oh, I can't remember. But anyways, it's adorable. So, I picked that up. And this is from Timu. And um, it has layering pieces, like tiny little layering pieces on it. And then I would have had time to use this in time for Easter, but I didn't end up using it. But I will have it for next year now. I did pick up the nesting Peeps bunny die, and that's what that looks like. It has all the little um, bunny Peeps on the inside, and then the larger ones outside, which is actually quite large. It's... I have relatively big hands, and the largest peep is even bigger than my hand and taller than my fingers. But um, the ones on the inside are, like, more manageable for, like, smaller embellishments. And then you could even use a larger bunny to do, like, a, you know, a flip tagger or a journal or something like that. So I picked up that for Easter, even though it's over now. And then I did pick up this uh, Hotel Key die set. I don't remember getting another size, but they did ship um, two sizes to me. I don't know if that was like a special gift or what, but I just, I think I just remembered ordering one size. Sometimes they have specials where they'll have two sizes and like at a discounted price. So I may have done that. So this is the large one, and then you get a small one with a smaller key, which is really cool. And this is great for travel, journaling, or, you know, it's the hotel key. I think it's a shaker die. I'm not even sure, but I thought it was really cute, so I picked it up, and I wanted to use that in my crafting. So I got those. And then the last die that I did pick up, let's see if I can open this without using my knife. See, I can't, oh, here it is. I can see the seal now. This one is um, the lemon slice or lime slice, what have you. It's just two pieces. And um, I think this is a shaker. I'm not sure. But um, it's really pretty and it's perfect for summer crafting. So it is about two and a half inches wide and the same the other direction. So happy to get those. And then I did pick up some cabochons. I picked up these daisy cabochons. I wanted the colored ones, but they were sold out. But I still like these a lot also because if you have it on a colorful project, it'll really stand out because it is white and it's just like a classic daisy. So I picked up these cabochons, and you get about 25 pieces, I believe. 
and you know you can glue these on projects or whatever you want to give that summer vibe or feeling and then the next thing I purchased I was looking for the, the pink ones but they were sold out so I did end up getting the, the red ones which in reality they are more of a like a fuchsia color so I was happy that I ordered these because online they did look more red and in person they are more of a like a berry pink and there's just these little tiny sequin um, strawberries and I ordered I think I ordered two packages I can't even remember because I just forgot you know it had been a couple of weeks since I ordered this and I just haven't made a video for it yet so <clears throat> this is what that looks like so pretty and sparkly and that's what they look like they're just like little they don't have like sticker on the back Wait, so you can like sew this onto something or you can even glue them on a project and this again just in time for summer crafting so that's awesome and i just i got two of those i believe i bought or ordered two of those and may have gotten two by accident you know how that happens with timo sometimes and then I picked up these really pretty stickers. They are daisies and they're on like a clear background. So when you stick them on a project, you'll just see like the flower. And I thought they looked real, very realistic because um, they just looked like they were dried flowers to me, but they're stickers and they're not real. They're just, you know, um, on a clear backing so when you stick them on a project they actually look like real flowers so you get six sheets of these which are all in here and that's just your sample of some of the ones that I got which I thought don't they look so realistic so very happy about that I love flowers and I love anything to do with wildflowers especially <clears throat> and uh, I think that would have a nice touch to any project. And the last thing I picked up from Timu is this large bag of key ring hooks. They're just like the kind that you would get in a bubblegum machine. They look like that, and you can just add dangles and projects to it. So, yeah, I'm going to try to figure out how to get the links for these. I've tried before and have failed. But I will try again to see if I can get the links. I don't know if you have to be a um, Timu influencer to get links. Or you can just get them on your own. Uh, once again, I said I will try to pick them up. If you guys want any links to any of these um, things that I ordered. And I think that's everything for this haul. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is the day of the solar eclipse, so I'm super excited about that. It's really sunny and clear. There are no clouds out right now, but I do have a chiropractor appointment coming up, so I will be getting out just in time, and uh, the hubby got me some special glasses, and he surprised those um, to me this morning, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, so everybody be careful. Don't stare at the sun and make sure you have your glasses on. It won't happen for another 20 years. And I believe it's coming out at 2.09 p.m. today. And it is April 8th, 2024. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you aren't a subscriber, just click that little button. And then you can see all my other videos if you would like. No pressure. Have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.